Whenever you are, you're free, right? I'm craving a steak. But could you go pick one up for me? Don't just go to any regular grocery store, though. You'll need to hit up the butchery I always go to. Oh, and grab some potato salad as a side too while you're at it. And I'd love some fresh baked baguettes too. You'll need to go shopping right now though, otherwise it won't be ready for lunch. And yeah, might as well get stuff for dinner too while you're out. Thanks, I'm counting on you. Olivia, did you go grocery shopping earlier like I asked? The fridge is completely empty. And I don't have anything for my own lunch either. As punishment, you have one hour to go shopping and bring everything back here. Oh, and make sure to grab something for my lunch too while you're at it. I'm not feeling steak anymore, just get me something else. But not from a fast food or cooked meal at the store, go to a restaurant. And you're paying for it all, of course. Sister-in-law, didn't I tell you the other day that I'll be too busy to help out from now on? Did you mention that? Anyway, you were able to respond just now, so why didn't you reply earlier? Just hurry up and go shopping. I was working earlier, so I couldn't go shopping then. And I have more work this afternoon too, so it'll be difficult to come over there as well. To get to your place would take me an hour and a half by car anyway. Asking me to do shopping within an hour is just unreasonable. What? Work? What are you talking about? Aren't you just a housewife? No need to put on airs and lie about having a job. All housewives are just bored people with nothing to do. You absolutely shouldn't be telling others that. I'm actually busy with an upcoming deadline right now. A deadline? For what? You're just living off Lucas. No way you'd have any real deadlines. It's obvious you're just making stuff up. Anyway, with the huge mansion you live in, there's no way you need to work, right? With that kind of lifestyle, it'd be weirder if you did have a job. So, just admit you're an unemployed freeloader and do this shopping already. This house and our income are completely separate though, but whatever. I never said Lucas just provides for me. While I did quit working when we got married, I've started a new job now. So you are just a housewife then. Just admit you're an unemployed bum with too much free time. I'm not unemployed. I'm a respectable work-from-home professional. Ah, oh, there it is. The work-from-home excuse that Shannons use so they don't get bums. Working remotely is legitimate work, you know. Okay, so what kind of work do you do then, Olivia? Well, I do a lot of writing articles and blog posts. Recently, I've also been doing some telemarketing work too. Telemarketing, huh? My husband says that kind of work from home stuff is just companies taking advantage of shut-ins by making them think they're actually working. When they're really just being strung along. I'm sure you barely do any real work at all. How is that different from being a housewife? I'm neither a bum nor a shut-in. Okay then. You're not a regular housewife, you're a shut-in housewife. <laughs> Stop pretending you have a job. <laughs> also, with Lucas away on his overseas assignment, you can just laze around all day in that huge place all to yourself. Must be nice being such an indulgent shut-in bum living in luxury. Actually, you probably sneak guys over when he's gone. Don't you? Please don't indulge in such baseless fantasies. That's improper. Baseless? Nothing. It's fine if you don't understand. Anyway, I need to get back to work, so I'll be going. Wait! What about the shopping? I'm getting food for my lunch? I don't know. Why don't you just order on Instacart or something? Though, I'm not sure if you'd be able to manage that. What is your problem? 
Are you that determined to be a lazy, shut-in housewife? Anyway, just living in that mansion in the first place is unfair. You're younger than me, but to get to live in such a nice place? Either way, do you DTS my sister-in-law and help me out? Let me get this straight, Olivia. When are you going to come to my house? My husband is on a business trip today and there's no one at home. I haven't done the laundry or cleaning and my husband will get mad at me tomorrow. Grace, I'm not your maid or housewife. Things like cleaning and laundry are basic chores you need to handle yourself. Oh, you finally replied. What were you doing this whole time? I was working and also taking care of things around the house when I could take a break. There it is. The classic doing housework counts as a job excuse. You think doing house chores is work too, huh? You know Lucas would hate it if you think like that, right? A woman doing basic housekeeping is just expected. Actually, a lot of modern husbands expect their wives to either work or take care of the home. Which is it for you? Me? I'm good. My husband told me when we got married that I wouldn't have to work if I didn't want to. I see. Well, I need to start making dinner, so I'll have to let you go. Oh, you haven't eaten yet? Why don't you just come over here and we can eat together? Of course, you'll be the one cooking though. Or you can pick something up. But you're paying. I already made something, so I'll have to pass today. Well then. Wait! Our conversation isn't over. What am I supposed to do about getting food? I'm back at the dorms after wrapping up work. How'd your day go, Olivia? Everything good with your work? Work is okay, I guess. Thanks for asking. I know you've been putting in the hours, too. Work is? So, did something happen? Well, work itself was okay, but something did come up. I got a call from your sister again. Oh, my sister again? Yeah, you know how it goes. Sorry for constantly venting about her to you. No, no, don't apologize. Get it all off your chest. I want to know what's going on. Thanks. So, what did she say to you this time? So, this time she called me a shut-in housewife. What? Right? She said I'm not just a regular housewife, I'm a shut-in housewife. And just laughed it off when I tried explaining I actually work from home. Hmm, my sister's thought process is messed up. But I don't think she's completely lacking common sense either. Especially since my brother-in-law recently started remote working too. So she should get the concept. How did she even come up with that idea? I think she's just looking to nitpick at me. Like, since you have a good income, the idea of me also working is unacceptable to her. And she mentioned the house too. House? She's saying it's unfair that I live alone in that big place. Even after you explained it to her? Man. Yeah, there's no helping it for now, I guess. You'd think she would remember after hearing the details. Definitely. I was there, so I know. But it was only a year ago. Has she really forgotten already? I don't think so. It's more like... She just cherry-picks the part that fit her made-up narrative in her head. I remember when my parents bought me that computer for college. She threw a tantrum, demanding they buy her new clothes and bags too. She made such a big fuss about it, saying it was unfair that I got stuff. The computer was for school, not for me. But in her mind, I must have demanded they buy it for me. No matter how much her parents explained, she wouldn't accept it. I just don't know where that rashness of her comes from sometimes. I see. Ideally, I should be able to set her straight myself. But it always seems like my words don't get through to her at all. Like talking to a brick wall. Zero effect. 
It's been difficult dealing with her for a long time then, huh? Having your understanding and support means a lot to me, though. Knowing you get where I'm coming from really helps. Don't push yourself too hard with her, though, okay? Don't make it too hard. I appreciate it. Well, just another month to get through at least. We can manage that long, right? Yeah, should be able to just brush her off like usual and the time will fly by. Especially since your brother started working remotely too. So she can't show up unannounced anymore. Since it's an hour and a half drive each way. I see. But don't hesitate to rely on my family if you need any help, okay? I'll definitely take you up on that if anything comes up. Thanks. Alright, I'm gonna grab some food now. Thanks for listening to me vent as always. No problem. Later. Hello? You awake? Olivia? Wake up, bum. Anyway, I have something really important to tell you. What's going on calling me this early? Did something happen? I'm actually on my way over there right now. What? Over where? What are you talking about? Duh, where else would over there mean? Well... Anyway, listen up. The thing is, I got divorced. Divorced? What on earth happened? Well, you see, I was messing around with this younger guy and my husband found out about it. What? I know, I know. I actually have this cute younger boyfriend. But once my husband started working remotely from home, it got really hard for us to meet up at my place anymore. So we've been going out. Then one of his friends saw us. You were what? He's been coming over? Yeah, we've been together for about two years now. I even gave him a spare key. He started getting busy at work about a year ago. He kind of stopped seeing me. We couldn't be on the phone either, so I was really sad. That's why you started contacting me frequently about a year ago. It started the moment we moved out. I was actually wondering why. My husband was never giving me any attention. I was so bored. I finally got a chance to meet up with the boyfriend last week. But it had to be out of town since my husband was home working remote that day. Stupid me, I didn't think his friend would spot us together. This is pretty unbelievable. Even for you. What can I say? I caught feelings. Never thought it would lead to divorce though. I messed up. But honestly, I kind of wanted to split from my husband anyway. This boyfriend is way hotter. And he buys me way nicer things too. Did you see the designer bag he got me? My friends were so jealous. <laughs> Lucas isn't here, so you might want to have a little fun. Are you seriously suggesting I cheat on him too since he's away? Well, why not? He's gone, right? No one has to know. Anyway, like I was saying, I ended up getting divorced. And since my boyfriend said I can't stay at his place yet, I was doing hotels for a bit. But that got boring living alone. And mom and dad said not to come back home for now either. So, mind if I crash at your place for a little while? Just until I get settled. Huh? What do you mean? What do you mean? Just like what I said. I'm staying with you. Wait, what? You want to stay at my house? No way. I don't even remember giving you our new address. Well, duh. Where else would I go? You can't try and turn me away like that. Oh, and my luggage is scheduled to arrive there this afternoon. You have plenty of extra rooms in that huge mansion. Just put me up in one of those. Uh, no, that's not happening. I'm on my way from the hotel. 
I'll be there in a few hours. I haven't had breakfast yet, so make me something to eat. I'll see you later. What? I don't even live there anymore. Ugh, she's not picking up again. Oh my god. Hey, what the hell is this? Olivia, answer your damn phone already. Olivia. Hello, Grace. You finally answered. Finally? What's going on here? I'm at your place, but the gate won't open. I can't get in. Were you lying about living in that huge mansion? Where even are you right now? Calm down. Like I told you earlier, I don't live there anymore. You'll have to either go back to your parents' house, or find another place to stay. No way! If I go home now, Mom and Dad will be furious at me. Plus, I've already told everyone I'd be living in that mansion. People would think I'm a liar if I can't get in. Just tell me where you are so I can come over, and you can open the gates. Hey, what the hell was that about? I went to your place and rang the doorbell. Then suddenly an alarm went off. It scared the crap out of me. Then these old people I didn't know came running out yelling. This is our home. Get out or we're calling the cops. They even threw salt at me to make me leave. Unbelievable. Well, of course. The idea of you trying to move in with me is absurd. Huh? How rude! And it turns out you were lying about living in that huge mansion, huh? There's no way an unemployed person like you could live alone in a place like that. Not only do you have no job, but you even lied about where you live. You're such a pretentious liar. I'm not being pretentious. I really did live there. If someone else is there now, then... Listen. Oh, I get it. Those were the servants. If you can afford living stuff, then you could easily let me stay too. Servants? Yes. Those must have been the mansion servants. How dare they not let the lady of the house inside by orders of the hired help? Servants. No wealthy families use living staff anymore these days. I think... I can't believe this. Since my staff are arriving today, I have no choice but to keep watch nearby. They wouldn't accept my belongings. And just left all of them on the streets. I got them all back in a hurry. But they had already poured salt all over it. Now I'm surrounded by cardboard boxes everywhere. That was such a disaster, wasn't it? Never mind that. Just let me into the house quickly. The salt pot earlier has made me all sticky and gross. Also, Tiara is here too, you know. Tiara? Yeah, my pet doggy. Before the divorce, I started keeping her since I thought I'd get lonely living alone. Oh, of course, I used my husband's credit card to buy her. Until the divorce papers were filed, we were still legally married, right? She's a chihuahua and just the cutest thing. It was tough keeping her quiet at the hotel. But she is so little, so I thought pet fees wouldn't apply. And a doggy would be perfect for a fancy mansion, don't you think? Oh, make sure to prepare a room for her too. Even if she's a pet, she's an important part of the family. Ugh, there are just too many things to comment on. Your husband must have really had it tough too. Anyway, you're not allowed in our house. Why not? For starters, make those servants apologize for sprinkling salt everywhere. You've been calling them servants this whole time, but they're actually my aunt and uncle. What? Aunt? Your aunt? Yes, my mother's younger sister and her husband. You 
made your aunt and uncle be your servants? Well, I can see calling elderly folks servants, but even that seems questionable. I don't think that's a good idea. No, why would you even think that? Well then, why are your aunt and uncle living in that house? It belongs to Lucas, right? That house you're so obsessed with actually belongs to my aunt and uncle. Huh? Then why were you living there? You started living there about a year ago, right? So I just assumed it was Lucas's place. My aunt and her husband had to leave the house for some reasons. I was in charge of the house for the year they were gone. What? I don't remember you ever mentioning that. But I did tell you. I said my aunt and uncle returned home three days ago. So I left the US in their stead. What? No way! You're not here anymore? That's right. Why? I'm going to Lucas's overseas work assignment location too. What? I never heard about that. I did tell you, clearly. Now that my aunt and uncle are back, I can go to Japan with Lucas. So I'm here with him. You're lying. So you're actually living together with him in that nice apartment of his? In Japan? That's right. Thank God I work from home so I didn't have to quit my job. How about you try it? I don't know if you're capable of it though. <laughs> what? Why is it always just about you? You lived in such a nice house. You had everything. But you betrayed your husband, so... Shut up. If that place isn't your home, then what am I supposed to do? I mean... I don't have anywhere else to live. I brought all my belongings thinking I could stay at your place. You could try renting an apartment. There are pet friendly ones too if you look. I'm broke. My ex-husband took basically all my money as compensation money. And I only have about $50 left. I spent so much on the hotel too, so I'm almost out of savings. Oh my. Hey, Olivia? Yes? I'll admit that you working remotely is impressive. So I won't call you a bum housewife anymore. So, could you maybe lend me a little money? Just a bit? Hmm. Please. We may be in-laws, but we're still sisters. You're the only one I can ask. I'm begging you for life. I beg you. Well, yay. I'll have to refuse. Huh? Come on, normally it's unthinkable for someone to betray their husband. Then impulsively get a dog out of loneliness, right? And if I lend you money, I'd be obliged to keep being involved with you regardless. What the hell? Hey, why don't you look for a living job instead? Even if you say that, I've never had a real job before, so I wouldn't know what to do. Oh, that's right. Introduce me to this remote work thing you do. Please. You're too much to handle. I hope you're able to find work somehow. Well then, goodbye. Wait, no. Olivia, please, don't abandon me. Hey. According to my in-laws, Grace was completely at a loss after the incident. Her unconventional thinking led her to show up at her younger boyfriend's house. With a marriage certificate declaring, I'll become your wife. However, her younger boyfriend turned out to be already married. His wife came to the commotion at the front door and aggressively asked, who are you? Leading to a big outburst. The police were called and my sister-in-law ended up going with them. My in-laws picked her up and took her back to their home. 
but my father-in-law has a severe dog allergy, so they wouldn't even let her cross the threshold with her dog. In the end, her ex-husband ended up keeping the dog. But on top of the compensation money, he also demanded reimbursement for the pet expenses. Apparently, my sister-in-law still owes about half of the compensation money. In addition to the pet costs, she had to pay it all back. She had no choice but to move to the countryside and got a job at some factory. Now, she's working and crying in an environment where she doesn't know anyone, slowly paying back the debt. I hope she truly reflects and faithfully repays what she owes. Lucas and I are living happily together. There are some cultural adjustments from America. But sharing my days with my beloved is truly priceless. With no more contact from my sister-in-law, I can relax and enjoy life. This incident has made Lucas more attentive towards me. And I feel we can overcome anything together from now on. The one thing I am grateful to Grace for is making me realize that.